is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Today we got a brand new trailer. Within that brand new trailer we got a tease of the Isle of Armor as well as the Crown Tundra. Today we're going to be talking about the Crown Tundra DLC and a brand new feature that is coming to that DLC and that is actually the co-op raid battle system that they're going to be adding to the second part of the DLC for the Pokemon Sword and Shield games. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because there's a particular image that is on the official Pokemon website about the Crown Tundra DLC that got me and a ton of people speculating about brand new Pokemon because that's exactly what we want. We want brand new Pokemon inside of these games, inside of the DLC. We want it. We want it. We want it. And this new image may be alluding to a brand new Pokemon. What image am I talking about? Let's jump over to the official Pokemon website to find out. Now again, this is coming from the official Pokemon website. It says, explore Pokemon Dens and Dynamax adventures. Team up with three other trainers and go on a Dynamax adventure. You'll be able to venture into Pokemon Dens and even maybe run into a Dynamax Pokemon. If you encounter a Dynamax Pokemon during your exploration, you will need to work together with your teammates in a max raid battle. You get a chance to catch the Dynamax Pokemon if your team is triumphant in the battle. You'll be kicked out of the den, shall you lose. Now, and then we're left with these three images one of them being the images i want to bring up obviously not of these pokemon we know who these pokemon are i'm talking about this image right here in particular where we can see the four pathways that you can choose to go on with your crew that you are on this dynamax adventure with now a lot of people are saying like these are versus probably random pokemon there's no way to t actually tell what pokemon is here the silhouettes that we see are so dark and have these pink clouds on them, we can't actually make out what we are seeing. And that blew me to double check, like what Pokemons are they hiding under these pink clouds? And if they were Pokemon that were already discovered, why hide them at all? Like look at this guy right here. I'm gonna scroll into the first guy. Now a lot of people are speculating this could just be a fish type Pokemon that you know we can't really tell what this little guy is on the left but you can look at that silhouette and guess a few pokemon but a lot of people are like and guess a few pokemon my thing is that if the pokemon wasn't revealed to be in the dlc maybe that's a reason they can hide the silhouette but why hide the silhouette of pokemon that are already discovered that we already know of and like what the fuck is this this is tauros I don't think so. Like, it's again, it's just like questions that need to be answered. I feel like you can see the face, like a little bit of it looking like a tiger. Like we have that lion Pokemon, I forget his name, but it, does, it doesn't fit this body description. The last one is particularly, looks like a huge fucking scorpion. I don't know exactly what we're looking at here with these silhouettes. It, it just got me just pulling my hair out like what pokemon could these be is this a tease to the brand new pokemon that they're going to be adding for the dlc and to me i'm like huh if they were adding new pokemon wouldn't they advertise that wouldn't they show us these not the don't show us the new pokemon but just tease that there are going to be new pokemon new forms and new stuff coming to these dlc as of right now only thing we know about is the brand new legendaries and the Galarian forms for the legendaries. We don't actually have new Pokemon, like new regular Pokemon that you could just walk around and catch. So I'm very curious on the marketing for this. It's like, why would you hide it if there are Pokemon we know already? It would get excited to know that these Pokemon may be returning to the games and hell they have hinted at and even shown us a ton of pokemon that is coming to the isle of armor and the crown tundra dlc via the 100 pokemon patch that is going to be free for all players already so it's like the the logic of saying that maybe these are just pokemon that is part of that 100 is kind of thrown out the window because they would just show us i don't know that that's where i'm falling on it i really hope and i, I want to believe that these are brand new Pokemon. But again, this is all we're going over is that one image. And I'm like, 
Ah, uh, it's kind of hard to just go out on the limb and definitively say these are brand new silhouettes for the Pokemon games when they're clearly, you can't determine what Pokemon they are and, you know, neither are in mine. And so I'm not going to say that these are brand new Pokemon. However, we are dangerously close of looking at brand new Pokemon. <laughs> like, you gotta agree with me on that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's have this conversation down there. Let's talk about this. Let's see if we can come to a conclusion as a community. Is this brand new Pokemon? Or am I reaching or am I going crazy? Or the thought of just having brand new Pokemon, it's like slewing my thoughts and my, you know, what I'm actually seeing to believing that this is an actual brand of these, you know, because it's a, it's four so let's that these are brand new Pokemon. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. If you're new around here, I do videos like this every day talking about Pokemon, talking about any game I want. Basically in doing discussion videos if you enjoy that type of content, please hit that subscribe button Also hit the like button It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this so other people can check out the video peace I love you guys stay safe out there. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Thank you Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button You know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video So it could be recommended so more people can check it out So we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter Twitter, Instagram or TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace I love you guys I'm gonna see you guys on the next one